I'm Madison Meyer. Here's a look at what's happening today. If you were hoping to get some shopping done at Arden Fair Mall, well, you are out of luck because the mall is closed. Officials believe people chose that location to protest the district attorney's decision on the shooting death of Stephon Clark yesterday. Protesters set up last night inside the center courtyard. This morning, they were told to leave, but they stayed on the mall's property. A 23-year-old Modesto woman was run over and killed after a bar fight. This happened around 2 a.m. yesterday near Chicago Avenue. Stanislaus County deputies say a man confronted two women after a fight inside that bar. The man first attacked the woman with a stun gun and then hit her with his car as he tried to drive away. A witness was able to give a description of the suspect's car. 29-year-old Raymond Gutierrez was arrested and charged with assault with a deadly weapon and voluntary manslaughter for this. Some good news today from Humboldt County. Two sisters, they're so adorable. They went missing from their home on Friday. They have been found alive and uninjured. The Humboldt County Sheriff says the eight and five-year-old girls were found early this morning. They were last seen around 2.30 Friday afternoon, gone for several days. Officials say they walked off into the wooded area near their home. Now for a check of your weather, here's Harry Stockman. Good news that they found them. Our weather is pretty crazy, isn't it? All these showers around Northern California. It's cloudy. It's snowing up in the Sierra. This is a live look up at North Star. Lots of snow on the ground and lots of water out there. Still a few flooded areas out there as well. We've had some wild weather. Doppler radar showing most of the precipitation is up over the Sierra Nevada. There's a narrow band of snow. The snow level is fairly high, so we're getting rain on top of the snow, and that, of course, is causing some problems. We have some isolated heavy showers uh, in the Sacramento Valley, and also as we take a look to the south, we'll see a couple of spots where we're seeing some isolated heavy downpours, but most of the precip over the valley has been very, very light today, and, uh, but the snow is going to continue for a while. Also remember that the visibilities are not very good up there. Zero as you can see up in Placerville, some areas along 50 and 80, not very good travel. There's a winter storm warning out up in the Sierra Nevada and, uh, and an advisory out as well. There's a storm way out, you can see in the Pacific. Notice it's coming up from the southwest, meaning it's a warmer storm. That's going to impact us later on in the week. So let's take a look at that forecast. We are still experiencing a few scattered showers here in the valley. Snow showers continuing in the mountains. We expect Monday actually will be mostly sunny. Tuesday, uh, we are going to see more rain beginning late in the day, Tuesday night into Wednesday, and uh, maybe some showers after that. And then we get a break for a while and then rain again next Sunday as well. So we're not done with the rain at all. That's how things are shaping up right now as far as the news and the weather is concerned.